Welcome to iQuist Theory. iQuist Theory has substantially boosted the educational method of the DMV written test by carefully studying and reviewing each DMV handbook. This episode contains 40 of our 200 plus DMV questions to prepare you for any curveball the test throws at you. Our well crafted 200 plus Golden Washington, D.C. DMV test questions and answers mirrors any real DMV test. By repeating these questions, you will gain the knowledge and skills needed to pass your written test confidently in just one attempt. What is the core principle of the Vision Zero Road Traffic Safety Project? A. Minimizing environmental impact. B. Enhancing public transportation systems. C. Achieving a highway system with no fatalities or serious injuries. D. Reducing traffic congestion and enhancing public transportation systems in big cities. Answer. C. Achieving a highway system with no fatalities or serious injuries. The core principle of the Vision Zero Road Traffic Safety Project is to attain a highway system with no fatalities or serious injuries. Originating in Sweden in 1997, this multinational initiative has been adopted internationally, including in countries such as Norway, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. In the United States, various cities, including Boston, Chicago, Los Angeles, New York City, Portland, San Francisco, Seattle, and Washington, D.C., have plans and development to align with the Vision Zero principles. Who is required to have a driver's license in the District of Columbia? A. Only those who are 18 years old or older. B. If you have lived in the District of Columbia for 30 days or more. C. Anyone who operates a motor vehicle or motorcycle on public roadways in the District of Columbia. D. Only those who have outstanding debt to the District of Columbia. Answer. C. Anyone who operates a motor vehicle or motorcycle on public roadways in the District of Columbia is required to have a driver's license. What is the age requirement for obtaining a learner permit in the District of Columbia? A. 16 years old. B. 17 years old. C. 18 years old. D. 15 years old. Answer, A, 16 years old. You must be at least 16 years old to get a DC DMV learner permit, and you must pass vision screening tests and provide documentation that proves your identity, residency, and eligibility, among other things. If stopped by law enforcement while driving a motor vehicle in the District of Columbia, what documents are you responsible for providing? A, only your vehicle registration and date of birth. B. Only your proof of insurance and insurance company. C. Your valid driver license, vehicle registration, and proof of insurance. D. Your name and address. Answer. C. In the District of Columbia, when stopped by law enforcement, you are required to provide your valid driver's license, vehicle registration, and proof of insurance. Failure to comply may result in a fine and or arrest. What does this sign mean? A. Lane ends. B. Double lane shift. C. Added right lane. D. Merge, entering roadway. Answer, A, lane ends. This means if you are already in the left lane, you need to be careful because the cars who are in the right lane will start coming into your lane. Make sure you look ahead, stay sharp, and anticipate other cars coming. What is the significance of double solid yellow lines on the road? A, they indicate a designated lane for high occupancy vehicles. B, passing is allowed in either direction if the way is clear. C. No passing is allowed in either direction, except for specific situations. D. They separate lanes of traffic moving in the same direction.
Answer, C, no passing is allowed in either direction, except for specific situations. Double solid yellow lines mark the center of the road and separate traffic, traveling in two different directions. Passing is not allowed in either direction. You may not cross the lines unless you are making a left turn or passing pedestrians, bicyclists, and riders of scooters or skateboards, when the opposite lane is clear and you can pass safely. What consequences may you face under the law if you attempt or knowingly possess a false or fraudulent identification card, driver's license, or permit in Washington, D.C.? A. No consequences upon the first violation. B. Community service and a fine of $60. C. Subject to a fine or imprisonment. D. Verbal warning from law enforcement upon the first violation. Answer is C. Attempting to secure a false or fraudulent identification card, driver license, or permit, or knowingly possessing a false or fraudulent identification card, driver license, or permit, may result in being subject to a fine or imprisonment. What does the term advisory speed refer to in the context of driving on highways? a. The temporary minimum speed allowed on a specific stretch of highway. b. The speed limit established by the local community. c. The maximum safe speed for a certain stretch of highway, posted under other warning signs. D. The average speed for vehicles on the highway. Answer, C. Left curve advisory speed refers to the maximum safe speed for a certain stretch of highway, as indicated under other warning signs. Drivers are advised to slow down to the advisory speed shown for enhanced safety. Alert drivers to specific warnings and hazards. To remind them to slow down. While driving on a road marked with a winding road sign what should drivers be particularly cautious about? A. Double roundabouts ahead. B. A series of curves or turns in the road. C. Two curved intersections. D. Oncoming vehicles with the right of way. Answer, B. The winding road sign indicates that the road ahead has a series of curves or turns. Drivers should be particularly cautious about adjusting their speed to navigate these curves safely, as mentioned in the provided information. What is considered unlawful in relation to motor vehicle exhaust systems? A. Upgrading the vehicle's exhaust system for enhanced performance. B. Removing or altering any exhaust system emission control device catalytic converter, installed by the manufacturer. c. Repainting the exhaust pipes for aesthetic purposes. d. Installing additional emission control devices beyond the factory specifications. Answer. b. It is unlawful to remove or alter any exhaust system emission control device catalytic converter, installed by the manufacturer. How can you best protect yourself from aggressive drivers? a. Challenge them to assert your right of way. b. Make eye contact. Call the police to establish dominance. c. Get out of the way and let an aggressive driver pass. d. Respond with aggression to assert control. Answer, C. Get out of the way and let an aggressive driver pass. This approach is recommended for safety, as it avoids confrontation and reduces the risk of escalating the situation. It's important to avoid challenges and maintain a courteous attitude on the road. When should you use turn signals? A. Only when changing lanes. B. Only when overtaking a vehicle. C. To signal drivers behind you that they can pass. D, both A and B. Answer, 
D. Drivers should use their turn signals before changing lanes, turning a corner, or pulling over to the side of the road, as well as when pulling out from a parking spot onto the street. Some drivers view turn signals as a courtesy, but their use is actually required by law. Turn signals provide an effective means of communication to let other drivers know where you are going so that they can act accordingly. Using signals to notify drivers behind you that they can pass is against the law. What does a diamond shape sign in the center of a lane on a highway indicate? A. A reserved lane for farm workers. B. A high occupancy vehicle, HOV, lane. C. A designated police motorcycle patrol lane. D. An emergency stopping zone in case of road accident. Answer. B. High occupancy vehicle, HOV, lanes, also known as carpool or diamond lanes, are special use highway lanes reserved for carpools, vanpools, buses, and motorcycles. The lanes are designed to maximize the movement of people and encourage commuters to use transit or travel together to save time, reduce traffic volumes and congestion. What is the correct sequence of traffic light signal? From top to bottom. A. Red, yellow, green. B. Green, yellow, red. C. Green, red, yellow. D. Red, green, yellow. Answer A. Red light is always located at the top of a vertical traffic light. And on the left if the traffic light is horizontal. If you have a valid DC driver's license for an entire year without receiving any pointable moving violations, you may be eligible for a good point on your driving record. True. False. The statement is true. If you maintain a valid District of Columbia, DC, driver license for a full calendar year without obtaining any pointable moving violations, you may indeed be eligible to receive a good point on your driving record. In fact, speeding is one of the most common moving violations with 41 million drivers receiving speeding tickets each year. Distracted driving may be caused by a. eating, drinking beverages, or smoking. b. changing the radio, CD, or tape. C. Using cellular phones and or texting. D. All of the above. Answer D. Distracted driving is any activity that diverts attention from driving, including talking or texting on your phone, eating and drinking, talking to people in your vehicle, fiddling with the stereo, entertainment or navigation system. Anything that takes your attention away from the task of safe driving. Texting is the most alarming distraction. Sending or reading a text takes your eyes off the road for 5 seconds. At 55 miles per hour, that's like driving the length of an entire football field with your eyes closed. When making right turns, you must a. be aware of vehicles ahead that are also turning right. B. Yield to pedestrians in crosswalks. C. Yield to cyclists passing between you and the right side of the road. D. All of the above. Answer. D. As you prepare to turn, reduce speed and stay as far to the right as possible. Begin the turn in the lane nearest to the right-hand curb and end the turn in the lane nearest the right-hand curb. Give turn signal. Yield to pedestrians who may be crossing your path. Scan for any bicyclist in your path. Avoid making wide, sweeping turns in the other lane. In the District of Columbia, a motor vehicle is not permitted to transport any kid below the age 3 years unless the kid is properly fastened in a child seat in the front seat. True. False.
Children up to age 2 must be properly secured in a rear-facing car seat. Children ages 2 to 4 years must ride in a car seat with a harness, rear or forward facing. Children 4 and older must ride in a car or booster seat until they are 4 feet 9 inches tall. Children over height 4 feet 9 inches must be secured by a properly fitted seat belt, typically starting at 8 to 12 years old. Children up to age 13 must ride in the back. What is the significance of the top portion of the interstate route marker shield, and what information does it convey? A. The top carries the legend interstate in blue letters on a red background, indicating the type of road. B. The top carries the legend interstate in white letters on a red background, indicating the type of road. C. The top carries the legend Washington, D.C. in white letters on a blue background, indicating the state. D. The top carries the legend highway in blue letters on a white background, indicating the importance of the route. Answer, B, interstate in white letters on a red background. This design element is used to signify that the road is part of the interstate system. The distinctive shield shape and color scheme help drivers easily recognize and distinguish interstate highways from other types of roads. What driving habits contribute to better gas mileage and fuel savings? A, rapid acceleration and sudden stops. B, participating in carpools and rideshare. C. Driving during rush hours at a slow pace. D. Underinflating your tires for maximum driving comfort. Answer. B. Using cruise control on the highway helps you maintain a constant speed and, in most cases, will save gas. Lose the roof rack A loaded roof rack can decrease your fuel economy by around 5%. Stagger your work hours to avoid peak rush hours so that you spend less time in stop-and-go traffic. Participate in carpools and rideshare programs. Walk or cycle short distances when possible. Use public transit if it is available and convenient for you. What does the triangle-shaped orange sign on the back of this vehicle indicate? A. The vehicle is carrying hazardous materials. B. The vehicle is undergoing maintenance. C. The vehicle is transporting construction materials. D. The vehicle is a slow-moving vehicle. Answer. D. A triangular orange sign on the rear of a vehicle is known as a slow-moving vehicle, SMV, sign. This sign is used to indicate that the vehicle is traveling at a significantly lower speed than the normal flow of traffic. It is typically seen on agricultural vehicles, construction vehicles, and other types of vehicles that may impede the flow of traffic. Adjust your speed and driving behavior accordingly. Exercise caution, decrease your speed, and maintain a safe following distance to ensure everyone's safety on the road. Which of the following comments is not true about driving and drug use? A. Prescription drugs can cause adverse ability to drive safely. B. Even over-the-counter drugs can impair your driving. C. Only illegal drugs can affect your ability to drive. D. Some sleeping medicines can impair your driving ability. Answer C. Even over-the-counter medications can impair your driving. Both over-the-counter and prescription medications might cause adverse effects that affect your ability to drive safely. Drowsiness, slower reaction time, blurred vision, and decreased attention are all possible symptoms. As a result, illegal substances are not the only thing that can impair your driving ability. When starting a new drug, always read the label or consult with your pharmacist. To get your vehicle under control when you start skidding, you should first, a, steer in the opposite direction of the skid. b, apply your brakes hard and abruptly. c, look ahead and steer straight ahead. d, steer in the direction of the skid.
Answer D. Skidding may occur when your car's tires lose their grip on the road. A skid could happen when you drive in rain, ice, snow, wet leaves, or dry sand. This causes the road to become too slick. When your car begins to skid, you may lose control because pushing your brakes or steering does not produce the normal result. Remember actions that could cause a vehicle to skid are Braking too hard Turning too sharply Accelerating too fast Driving too fast under negative road conditions Which of the following activities is prohibited on any public street, road, or highway? A. Organizing a community parade B. Engaging in a vehicle race, speed exhibition, or speed contest C. Conducting a charity car wash D. Participating in a citywide treasure hunt Answer, B. The Washington D.C. DMV manual explicitly prohibits engaging in any vehicle race, speed exhibition, or speed contest, including those commonly known as drag races on any public street, road, or highway. This rule aims to ensure the safety of all road users. What penalty can drivers and passengers face for not having their seat belts properly buckled at all times? A. Verbal warning. B. License suspension. C. $50 fine and two points. D. $25 fine. Answer, C. With few exceptions, drivers bear the responsibility for seatbelt compliance for all passengers. Under D.C. law, the driver of a motor vehicle and all passengers must wear a seatbelt at all times, in the front and back seats. This requirement applies to all vehicles, including rideshare and taxicab services. Failure to comply with Washington, D.C. seatbelt laws can result in a $50 fine and two points on the driver's license. Which type of information is commonly displayed by brown-colored roadside signs? A. Hospitals and emergency services. B. Schools and educational facilities. C. Recreational and cultural interest areas. D. Construction and maintenance zones. Answer, C. Roadway signs with a brown color generally indicate recreational and cultural interest areas. The brown color is standardized to provide information about parks, historical sites, and other recreational destinations. A person may be considered guilty of aggressive driving if they engage in which of the following actions? A. Pass traffic lights with steady red indication. B. Exceed the maximum speed limit. C. Fail to yield right of way. D. All of the above. Answer. D. Persons may be considered aggressive drivers if they pass traffic lights with a constant red indicator overtake vehicles without a signal. Bypass on the right. Change lanes swiftly. Follow too closely behind. If they fail to yield right of way and exceed maximum speed limit. These behaviors can contribute to unsafe road conditions and chaos. Which of the following statements about the DC route marker DC 295, also known as the Anacostia Freeway, is true in relation to driver's licenses in Washington, DC? A. DC 295 is a U.S. highway. B. DC 295 is an interstate highway. C. DC 295 is the only numbered route in Washington, D.C. D. DC 295 is not a freeway. Correct answer. C. District of Columbia Route 295, DC 295, also referred to as the Anacostia Freeway and the Kenilworth Avenue Freeway north of East Capitol Street is a freeway in the District of Columbia. 
At present, it is the district's only sign-numbered route that is not an interstate highway or a United States highway. What should drivers do when encountering streetcars on public streets in Washington, D.C.? A. Overtake the streetcar if it is moving too slowly. B. Drive closely alongside the streetcar to maintain speed. C. Adhere to observed traffic signs and watch out for moving streetcars. D. Honk the horn to alert the streetcar driver of your presence. Answer. C. Streetcars are passenger vehicles that travel on fixed rails on public roads. The vehicles can operate in traffic congestions or have a separate isolated track. The streetcars, whose dimensions are the same size as an articulated bus, are capable of carrying more passengers and move at speeds ranging from 25 to 35 miles per hour. Streetcar speeds of operation are similar to those of local buses, with the goal of staying below the posted speed limit and keeping up with traffic. Drivers should obey traffic signs and be mindful of moving streetcars. This ensures safe interactions with streetcars on public roadways while promoting traffic regulations and total road safety. What does a divided highway ends sign indicate? A. The road is turning left. B. Traffic is allowed in both directions. C. The road is merging onto a one-way street. D. Vehicles must turn right by the divider. Answer. B. When you see a divided highway ends sign, it indicates that the divided highway or expressway is about to change back into a conventional two-way road with opposing traffic on a single roadway. Means you are leaving the divider behind. The divided highway ends sign signifies the conclusion of a divided highway with a median or divider. After this point, traffic is allowed in both directions on the same road. Drivers should be aware that the median or divider is no longer present, and they should adjust their driving accordingly by keeping to the right side of the road and watch out for oncoming traffic. What is the appropriate course of action for a driver of a vehicle being followed too closely to reduce the possibility of a rear-end collision? A. Suddenly hit the brakes to alert the following driver. B. Keep your hazard signals on as long as possible. C. Slow down gradually and let the closely following vehicle pass. D. Look closely in your rearview mirror. Answer. C. Rear-end collisions are the most common type of motor vehicle accident. As the driver of a vehicle being tailgate, this is what you could do to minimize the risk of being hit from behind. Slow down gradually, not abruptly. Keep up with traffic. If the vehicle continues to follow too closely, slow down and let it pass. While driving through a work zone, what should you do to ensure safety? A. Quickly weave through lanes to reach the destination faster. B. Move quickly from the slower lane to the faster lane. C. Obey the directions of the police and flaggers and prepare for lane closures when indicated. D. Break abruptly to alert drivers behind you about the work zone. Answer. C. This facilitates a smooth flow of traffic and reduces the possibility of accidents. Pay attention to what other drivers are doing and avoid making unexpected changes. Look out for signs of decreased speed limits. Brake gradually to allow traffic behind you ample time to slow down. Keep up with the flow of traffic. What is the most appropriate strategy for a driver when exiting an interstate or highway? A. Change lanes quickly on the main highway before approaching the exit. B. Start slowing down on the main highway to ensure a smooth exit. C. Remain in any lane until the last second, reduce your speed on the ramp. D. Get in the right lane far before the exit and begin slowing down in the deceleration lane. Answer. D. 
D, to safely leave the interstate slash highway get into the right lane well before reaching the exit. Don't slow down on the main highway. Start slowing down as soon as you get into the deceleration lane. If you exit at the wrong place on an interstate, continue until you are off the exit ramp and look for a way to re-enter the interstate. This helps ensure a safe and controlled exit without impeding traffic on the main highway. Under what conditions should hazard lights be used? A. When you are waiting to pick up your children from school. B. When it starts raining. C. While your vehicle is stalled or broken down on the highway or verge during an emergency. D. Whenever you want to draw the attention of other drivers. Answer. C. According to the highway code, you should mainly use hazard lights when your vehicle is stationary on the road and a potential hazard to other road users. This can occur if your vehicle has broken down, if you've had to stop because of another obstruction ahead or if you've pulled over for another emergency reason. What does the octagonal, eight-sided, shaped traffic sign signify? A. Yield. B. Warning. C. Speed limit. D. Stop. Answer. D. The octagonal shape always indicates a stop sign. Drivers must come to a complete stop at the sign, stop line, pedestrian crosswalk, or before entering an intersection when encountering a sign with this shape. What does this sign mean? A. Winding roads. B. Road narrows on both sides. C. Divided highway ends. D. Divided highway starts. Answer. D. The divided highway starts is where you approach a section of highway, not an intersection or junction, where a median or a divider separates traffic. When you see this sign, it simply means you will soon be driving on a divided highway, such as this. What does a broken yellow centerline indicate? A. No passing is allowed in either direction. B. Passing on the left is allowed in either direction when the way ahead is clear. C. Passing on the left is allowed only if you are turning left. D. Passing is allowed on the right when the way ahead is clear. Answer. B. A broken yellow centerline indicates that passing on the left is allowed in either direction when the way ahead is clear. This marking signifies that drivers may overtake vehicles in their lane and move to the left when it is safe to do so. It is essential to exercise caution and ensure there are no oncoming vehicles before making a pass. Drivers should never cross a solid yellow centerline in order to pass. What does the pennant shaped, no passing sign indicate? A. No passing after right turn ahead. B. The beginning of a no passing zone. C. Drivers can pass with caution. D. Upcoming bend to the right. Answer. B. The pennant shaped no passing sign, when located on the left side of a roadway, points to the beginning of a no passing zone. This indicates that passing is prohibited on that stretch of road. It warns drivers that it is dangerous to pass owing to visibility challenges, road conditions, or stream of traffic. The sign is often placed in places with bends, slopes, or where approaching traffic is not visible from an adequate distance. This sign means, a. Low bridge. b. No left or right turn ahead. c. 12.6 meters to destination. D. Low clearance. Answer. D. Low clearance. This sign is displayed to indicate the actual allowed overhead height of a bridge, archway, or elevated structure. Do not enter if your vehicle exceeds the height specified on the sign, 12 feet 6 inches. 
Overheight transport vehicles must take a different route around the restricted clearance. You are required by law to notify the D.C. Department of Motor Vehicles within, of a change of address. A. 5 days. B. 60 days. C. 14 days. D. 7 days. Answer, B, to keep your records up to date, you must notify the DC DMV of any address changes within 60 calendar days of relocating. If you submit a change of address by mail, the DMV will process it within 7 to 10 business days of receipt. What should you do when you encounter an intersection merge situation sign? A, quickly move ahead to merge first. B, honk to alert other drivers of your intention to merge. C. Both lanes of traffic are responsible for merging safely. D. Always yield the right of way to the larger vehicle. Answer. C. In an intersection merge situation, two lanes of traffic moving in the same direction are about to become one. Drivers in both lanes are responsible for merging safely. Both lanes of traffic moving in the same direction are responsible for merging safely. In this situation, the zipper rule should be applied. The zipper rule is when each vehicle takes turns to merge into the single lane, just like closing a zipper of your pants. If your turn signals fail, apply, to indicate your intention to turn. A. The horn twice. B. Your headlamps. C. Your hazard lights. D. Hand signals. Answer. D. It is legal to use your hand or arm signals when indicating a turn. Driver's hand signals may be used instead of vehicle turn signals. This may be required if your turn signals aren't working. Use hand signals with caution and safety.